Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Let me get out that glare behind you. So, last week I cleaned my stove, or sorry, I cleaned my oven, but I didn't have a whole lot of oven cleaners, so I actually went out and bought some more and brought a, um, a wire scouring brush. And so I'm going to try to re-clean it and get it looking better. Y'all, my kitchen is a mess. Let me show you. Hold on. I have a sink full of dishes that I need to work on from lunch. Uh, I'm sure I've got dishes in here. Oh, nope. i got to run it. Um, and I'm going to try to clean my oven again. Y'all can't see it that good, but it, it didn't clean good. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray that down and get it started. And I did have the kids yesterday. Um, so i got to clean up their mess. I usually clean up their mess before I go to bed, but I was tired and didn't. So I'm going to work on that also today. Let me show you this. It's not bad. They just got a few things pulled out. So I'm going to work on getting that clean. But my main focus today is just getting the kitchen cleaned. I will get the toys put up, but um, I'm going to do that last. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my oven, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and spray my oven and let it sit for a little while so it can activate and get everything clean. So I'm going to start uh loading the dishwasher and getting these um dishes going from our lunch this afternoon and go ahead and get started and hopefully i can get it knocked out before it gets too late but we'll see sprayed the oven down really good with the easy off fume free oven cleaner and I'm going to let it sit in there I had tried cleaning it last week or and I did not have as much cleaner as what I thought I had so I'm going back over it and you know I'm really glad I did because it looks so much better so I am just going to load my dishwasher and start it because I forgot to run it last night which is fine because it was like a little small load and then I've got some dishes I'm going to hand wash. And over, you cry yourself to sleep. And you're colder, much colder, if only you could see. So you're supposed to let the oven cleaner sit in there for an hour um, before you go to clean it. And so I'm going to clean up everything else in the kitchen and kind of let it sit so it'll wipe up really easy. It gets all that dirt, and well not dirt, but grease and burn on stuff off. And that oven cleaner works really good. That's what I use every time when I clean my oven. And it's the um, Easy Off Fume Free Oven Cleaner. It works really good. Don't you know that you're beautiful? So since I am cleaning the oven, I want to go ahead and give the whole stove a good deep cleaning. So I'm going to take out these drip pans, give them a wash. Um, I just bought them. They're new, so nothing, no stains or nothing on them. So I'm trying to wash them at least 
Well, every time I spill anything or anything that boils over while I'm cooking, so I, but I'm trying to clean them like at least three times a week to keep them looking new. My mom used to put um, tin foil on hers when I was a little kid, but when you do that, the eye the eye burners don't really go down really good, and I just don't like how it looks. So I don't do that, but they do make little foils that you can put in there to prevent it. And next time I go to Walmart, I'm going to get some. I meant to get some um, before, and I forgot. So uh, when I go back to Walmart, I will be purchasing them. Order, I set your sails on high. And you're stronger, much stronger than they will ever be. Don't you know that you're beautiful? So I'm just going to wash the air fryer um, cup and container and this little cup because I don't like to put it in the microwave, uh, microwave, you, not microwave, dishwasher. So I'm going to clean my drip pans and the uh, cup thing that goes into the air fryer. Now my directions to this air fryer did say it was dishwasher safe, but I'm not going to risk it. It's just as easy to clean it by hand than, and stick it in the dishwasher because I don't trust everything to go in the dishwasher. So I'm just going to get these uh, rinsed up and move on to the oven. So I figured while I was deep cleaning the oven and the, all the drip pans, just the whole stove, I was going to pull it out. And I hadn't pulled it out probably since my last spring clean. Uh, it did come out fairly easy, which I was surprised. Uh, there was some toys back there that had to be thrown away. So I'm going to get in here and clean it really good. I hope you can see everything I'm doing. Look at how gross that is. I need to pull it out more often. But the thing's heavy and I should have waited for Bobby, but I had it. I was on a mission, and I wanted to just go ahead and get it clean, so I didn't wait on him. And I was able to get it done, and that's all that matters. So I did vacuum up the little bits of sand that got back there. Y'all wouldn't believe the amount of sand that was back there. How it got there, I don't know. But anyway, I vacuumed up all the sand and then I got my little steam cleaner thing. Y'all, this thing cleaned so good. It just busted up all the grease and nasty under there. Um, it worked really good and I was so thankful to have it. I should have tried this little steam cleaner on the stove well i did on part of it but then i got nervous because i didn't want it to like catch fire i don't know if it would and it probably wouldn't but you know i was just too nervous and decided that that i would try it next time i don't want to do it with that cleaner on it and then mess something up but this little steamer did work really good it got everything up and it looked so much better back there it was so gross it wasn't too bad on the sides. I wiped the counters down like when you had spilled something. But apparently, I'm a little bit careful and I didn't spill too much. There was some stuff back there, but it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Just the way we are. So I'm just going to mop right here in a hurry. I did use the paper towels to get most of that grease and grime up because I did not want my mop head to get too nasty. Um, so it wasn't too bad by the time I mopped. And getting it back there wasn't too hard. You just got to slide it in just right to get it on the little hook back there. But I was able to slide it back in and I was so proud of myself. So now it's time to clean the oven. Now, I, like I said, I had cleaned it last week, 
but I didn't have enough cleaner to really get it in there clean really good so I went and got the cleaner and then I got one of these um, metal scrubbing things I don't know what it's called I can't think a uh, scouring pad whatever it is and I got in there and it got most of it up there was some places on it where it didn't come completely up but you know I scraped it and tried and I'm happy with how it looks it looks so much better and when I clean my oven I'm always scared that I'm gonna leave some kind of residue back so when I'm done cleaning it I take a paper towel and wipe it down because I'm I get nervous that if I leave anything behind it'll catch fire next time I use it so I am sure to really wipe it out good I go over it with paper towels then I go over it with a sponge and I think I went over it with the paper towels again after I sponged it down good but I'm not sure but it did come out looking good. Um, it looks 100% better, and I'm glad I went over it and recleaned it because I just did not like how it looked when I done it last week. You're perfect as you are. last time I washed it I used gloves and I had all intentions of putting gloves back on again and I completely forgot and I had by the time I was done I did have a few little places on my hand that was a little tender but nothing too bad so when y'all clean ovens um, don't forget to wear your gloves like I did I was just a dummy and forgot Okay guys, this is my oven. It looks so much better. I was wanting to show you before I slid it in, but I wasn't sure I could get it back. I did. Yay. I'm so excited. So I have just got done resting because I girl was tired. So I'm going to finish cleaning up this kitchen. Just the way we are. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Now since I already had my mop bucket made, I decided that I was going to uh, vacuum in here and get it mopped and not use the Tenco mop vac. I didn't want to mess with it and then have to tear it apart and clean it out. It was just easier to mop and then dump the mop water out. So that's what I'm going to do. And then usually I use my iRobot or Roomba to vacuum up the mess but I was just wanting to get it all done and over with so I went on and vacuumed and got everything mopped up.
So after working in my kitchen, I'm just going to put these few toys up. I'm going to vacuum in here and I'm going to mop really good and then I'm going to be done. I had some more things that I needed to do, but I'm going to work on that tomorrow. It'll give me something to film tomorrow. Uh, I was just too tired and messing with that kitchen. So I'm just going to vacuum in here, give it a quick mop. I didn't even mop the hallway. I just mopped in here in the living room and I'm going to be done for the night. I was just too tired to really mess with anything else. I will put out a lot of fire. We stumble and fall. I'm tired and I'm out of breath, but I'm done. Um, so let me show you what I did. Okay, so the kitchen is clean and it looks so much better. I got everything mopped. The stove looks great. The floor looks great. And the cats are rolling nuts. But anyway, y'all, I hope y'all got some motivation. Oh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm coming to sit down. Oh, I had a few more things that I really needed to do, but I was just tired. I look a mess. I need to go shower. But I did have some more things I really needed to work on, but pulling on that stove in and out was just... It wasn't too hard to do, but it was just heavy, and I could have waited for Bobby, but I'm stubborn, and I didn't, so. But it's done. It looks good. Y'all, look at my hair. It's so bad. Anyway, it looks good, and it's done, and I won't have to clean it out for, well, a couple months at least, I hope, because I'm going to want to go get some of those um, silicone mats you can put at the bottom, so if you spill anything... Sorry, nosy cat. So if I spill anything, it'll be easier to clean up. But anyway, y'all, I hope y'all got motivation. If you hadn't already, I would love for you to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you can get notifications when I upload new content. Sorry about the ending. The cat is wanting attention. But anyway, thank you for watching and God bless.